Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. In this video, we are going to look at a new R package that can help you quickly, easily web scrape. So web scraping is one of the tasks that require a lot of uh, technical nuances. Uh, sometimes uh, it's quite easy for you to do scraping, but sometimes it is quite difficult even for very simple things. So I think the goal of Fragler is to facilitate um, uh, or make it easier for you to do web scraping. Sometimes, you know, if you want to download only title, it's easy to uh, do only title with um, Ragler because there is a simple function that um, lets you extract title. So like this, there are a lot of good functions. Um, we are going to look at that package um, in this video. So before we look into the package, uh, let's uh, thank the developer. So developer in this case of this package is Ilhaddin Muhammad uh, El Fadul. So um, thanks um, Ilhaddin uh, for making this package uh, open source and it is available on Cran Forest install. So let's quickly go ahead and then install the package and then start out the tutorial so let me make it slightly big so let's install the package so package is going to get installed so right now it is getting installed from uh, cran but you can also install the development version from uh, github if you want uh, so as we usually say if you like this package please give a start to the repository uh, that's a nice way to thank the developer and um, you know appreciate the contributions that they're making to open source community so once we install the package, uh, now it's time for us to play with the package. Let's first load the library, Ragler, okay. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry, it's called Ralgur, Ralgur, okay. So I was calling it Ragler, Ralgur. My apologies, uh, so it's Ralgur. So let's say if you want to uh, download something, uh, let's say if you want to uh, 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 download uh, something from a page. So there are two things that you need. So one thing is you need the link of the page from where you want to download. Second thing is you want to know the node, the CSS node um, with which you want to, you know, make the uh, prediction, uh, sorry, make the scraping. So let's, um, let's quickly open a new web page, uh, which um, let's say in this case is, uh, let's open IMDB and let's see what do we want to see okay so i'm opening imdb and then i don't have the uh, selector gadget plugin but you know the easiest way for you to uh, open is uh, i should probably open uh, imdb top movies so the easiest uh, way for you to do is uh, using selector gadget so there is something called selector gadget if you use selector gadget it will be quite easy but in this case i don't have selector gadget so what i'm going to do is to show you uh, the traditional way of you know doing uh, web scraping so first we need um, the css selector uh, so let's quickly uh, write the functions or uh, let's say my link is equal to this one and uh, my uh, i hope i loaded this and my node which is uh, the css node is what we are going to copy but before that if you want to have a look at you know how the function works the function is called scrap um which uh, the developer says uh wasn't familiar with uh, the word scrape before so so you need the link and then you need the node uh, the node uh, is a uh, element so selector gadget is highly recommended but uh, we can try without selector gadget at this point and then uh, if you want uh, as an extracted uh, vector all these things so uh, like basic information uh, so let's quickly go ahead and then look at the uh, selector information which in this case is inspect after you click inspect uh, it loads this uh, big uh, title uh, so i'm going to click my uh, mouse on this and right click and say copy my selector so let's see if it works out. So copy selector, um, it should ideally work out, but if it doesn't work out, I think it's it's bad luck for me. Uh, extract, I'm going to call it extract, um, scrape, uh, link, command node. So let's quickly run this and then see what's happening. So you can see uh, in the extract, uh, it has only a uh, Shawshank Redemption. It doesn't have anything else. That is probably because somewhere in the selector, we have actually specified and called that exact element. So you can see this is why if you use selected gadget, it will be slightly uh, helpful for you to extract the entire list rather than you know extracting the only element because um, you, you made something error. Um, so what is it saying? It says um, there is an issue. So maybe what we can do is uh, to make it slightly easier, we can actually in fact um, install 
let's see um, let me see if I put n does it does it um, let's see one uh, if not uh, then uh, we'll quickly go ahead and then uh, yeah that has worked out so you should have n uh, instead of the single number that you are pointing to so if I uh, if I say uh, let me say extract so you can see the names that it has so all the movie names the 250 movie names you can actually see uh, on this so what whatever you see uh, you can see the names so what, whatever the names that you see here you can have the names so this is this is again the easiest way for you to do scraping so now let's say that uh, uh, you want to extract all the urls of the images that are available in this page so again there is a very nice function for this that is called uh, image scrap uh, scrape only url so if you want the actual images to be downloaded you can use image scrap and if you want the images to be uh, you want the url of the image then you can use images preview so you can just say link and then you can say image uh, links and then execute it uh, we can have a look at um, how the images look so we have 253 images totally so let's quickly open uh, open the open the pay, uh, open the uh, vector that we have got and then see if we can open any of these images on our browser so I think it is it is all um, half so let me uh, randomly open one image in this case to say image links uh, 22 I don't know what is 22 probably some movie so let's copy this and then go here and paste it and see what's happening so it is it is an image of some movie that's probably uh, probably around uh, 23 or 20 uh, four or five somewhere around this uh, so so the images work very well so that we just we just saw how good the images work so let's quickly check one more function of this package which is um, something that I actually liked a lot which is um, one of the things that you usually face is uh, extracting a table uh, but what if you do not have a table format so the R package R West has a very nice function to read HTML table like uh, if you're on Wikipedia or places like that it is quite handy because you can just read the HTML table as data frame and as a data scientist or data analyst a lot of times you would be dealing primarily with tabular data and uh, that is something that you would want to scrape for example in this case this this HTML is designed designed in such a way that it is not a table so it is uh, different diffs um, um, organized in a such a way uh, for you to look like for, for it to you know uh, display like a table uh, so um, you can you can actually see the see the code uh, i'm not going to you know spend more time on explaining the code so uh, so there are multiple ways to display a table format and um, um, html page and one of the ways is using a uh, table tag uh, one of the other ways is using you know rearranging your div in such a way that you get it and this package ralgar uh, has a very nice way for you to download the table so that is called table scrap uh, i think in this case so if you already have a table you can simply use table scrap i think in this imdb's case we have a table already so let's quickly say um, my uh, imdb 250 is equal to table scrap and i'm going to use the link uh, I'm going to call the link as link. So let's see if it downloads the data frame. Then you can uh, you can assume at this point that this page has a table tag, uh, the actual HTML table tag. So yeah, of course. So this page has the table tag, which means uh, you don't have to you know do a lot of a um, lot of different things for you to actually extract the information. Uh, maybe I can show you an example uh, the different uh, but uh, let's let's look at the example that the, the, the developer has given so in, in our case the case that we saw uh, you can simply give the URL and it can extract the table the existing table as data frame so if you want to you know make a plot or something you can easily do with this but what if you do not have the table uh, and that's where this this uh, piece of code is really handy so Thanks to the developer, let's quickly copy this and then see how does it work. And um, um, let's go to the particular page, which is in this case is 
imdb250 sorted by user rating so let me open the user rating and uh, yeah sorted by user rating is uh, so this is the page that we are in um, and uh, let's quickly open the page and then see if it is part of a an html table uh, the table tag so it's opening mm, let's wait for a few more seconds for it to load completely so you can see that uh, it is not part of a table tag so ideally if it is part of a table tag you would see tr for a table row so it is not table so you can see that the div elements are arranged in such a way that it looks like a table for you but now let's say you want still you still want uh, to uh, extract this information um, as a table so what are you going to do now so that is where um, let's give this link that is where this uh, tidy scrap function uh, comes handy so what 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 you basically do is you specify the the nodes the css selector uh, and you say that this is the css selector value i want for this particular column so you give the column names and then you give the node names the css selector so once you have that uh, in place then um, it's quite simple you just simply use the function um, uh, tidy scrap and then you can just run it and then it would get you uh, let's say hopefully uh, in our case it is link it, uh, df um, um, rank let's say i know it's a terrible name but um, so it now it should ideally get you the data frame in such a way that your uh, your uh, title is the first column your rating is the second column sorry your year is the second column and your rating is the third column so df rank has opened so let's open df rank and then you can see the same thing so you have title you have year you have rating so this is again um, a very wonderful way uh, something that uh, usually we all struggle with web scraping is to extract non tabular information that is uh, you know css elements arranged as a table um, on a page into a tabular format which in this case is uh, uh, a data frame so this is quite handy i'm not sure if there is any um, equivalent function in python even so pandas has a read underscore uh, html even there i don't think you would uh, get uh, a div uh, formatted html page as uh, as a table uh, and this is i think uh, one of the important reasons uh, or one of the important use cases where i would definitely consider this package ralgar uh, over r west or any other uh, web scraping package in r because this is something that i have not seen probably if i missed it probably you can let me know in the comment section but this is something that i have not seen and this is definitely a handy feature for a lot of us uh, who like to do um, uh, web scraping or who who has to do web scraping as part of their job description so these are the main uh, main important um, uh, functions of this package so the other thing that we didn't actually see is the title scrape so you just you just have to uh, say title scrape and then it would probably scrape all the title tag uh, which uh, which in html language means h1 tag so h1 all the h1 tag would get um, okay yeah h1 h2 h3 html tags would get scraped here um uh, paragraphs uh, if you want paragraph tag and uh, if you want links only links this is again uh, quite useful in a lot of cases where you want to traverse uh into different links uh, like a tree traverse so then again this is very handy so we saw about images preview and also if you want to download images scrape you can use that so there are a lot of simple functions you know the highly abstracted functions that can help you do a lot of useful things uh, so definitely check this uh, check this package out and um, one thing that i would like to say is web scraping may not comply with the uh, terms of service of a lot of websites so before you use it for commercial purpose so we are using it for educational purpose in this case but before you use it for commercial purpose or uh, if you want to collect data from somebody definitely you know check out their terms of service and then make sure that uh, you are not violating any legal uh, legality in your country land of um, uh, where you belong to or the website that you uh, scrape data from and uh, uh, i would like to again thank this developer um, um, uh, ilahidin mohammed al fadil uh, for uh, making this package that is definitely uh, extremely useful for a lot of beginners to scrape very easily and quickly and efficiently without missing or without um, you know having a lot of technical debt in their code and uh, this developer has a sponsor link so if you 
uh, if you want to appreciate the work or if you are using it for commercial purpose or if you if you like this um, work that the developer has put it, put out uh, please consider donating or uh, um, a sponsoring or buying a coffee to this developer and then that would be really helpful for them to or that would act as a good motivation for them to do a lot more web scraping or oh, sorry lot more um, uh, r package development um and uh, my apologies for uh, uh, pronouncing this name wrong at the start it is ralgar and uh, thanks to the developer for making this package i hope this video was helpful to you in understanding how quickly and easily you can scrape do web scraping in r for data science and data analytics uh if you if you do something uh, please let me know in the comment section i'll be really interested in seeing what you come up with or what you are scraping and if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section otherwise please give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and um, until next video please stay safe peace